Hi Hunters, Zook here. With Sunbreak released, I wanted to create a resource video series for the Hunting Horn, kind of a way to give back to the community. There's a lot of information and resources that I feel like we take for granted, tools and knowledge that others might not have access to. So I just want to document and cover some of these in order to share them with a wider audience. Today we'll be covering Hunting Horn's note sets, song durations, and the technical side of the buffs, as well as some unique interactions with songs. This is in no way meant to be a guide for the Hunting Horn. If you wish to see how to play Hunting Horn, I recommend checking out Amadeus 225's guide on how to use the Hunting Horn for Rise. To establish a baseline, I want to look at the changes that Rise and Sunbreak have made to the weapon as a whole compared to our last iteration of Hunting Horn that we saw in Iceborne. So let's start with some of the changes to Hunting Horn's only required skill, Horn Maestro. In previous Monster Hunter entries, Horn Maestro was used to extend the duration of songs and song effects. However, in Sunbreak it now acts as a damage boosting skill, increasing the damage of our shockwave attacks by about 10% and also increasing the speed of our performance and cord by about 9%. In my testing, the reduction on our performance went from around 110 frames to 100 frames on average. This means that this is a direct buff for the following attacks. Our performance and chord, melodic slap, magnificent trio, infernal melody, slide beat, earth shaker, sonic waves, the beat of resonance shockwaves, sonic bloom, and the silkbind shockwave burst. This list encompasses every silkbind we have available to us and most of our core combo attacks, so overall Hornmeister is still a must-have skill in Sunbreak. But why does it not extend the duration of our songs? Well, in Sunbreak, the performance and encore mechanics have been completely removed. Songs now only have a single duration and there is no encore, only re-performing the song and reapplying the buff for its initial buff duration. For example, if I were to play Attack Up, which lasts 60 seconds, and then wait a few seconds and play it again, I would reset the buff duration to 60 seconds. We are not extending the initial song duration, nor increasing its potency, simply reactivating the buff altogether. Songs have also been simplified with the overhaul to our song melodies. There is no more multi-note combinations to create songs as songs are now only either a combination of two of the same notes, or if you are using echo mode, a single note that is activated by playing your chord attack. The idea of melodies now only exists within the Rampage Hunting Horn with its ramp up melodies. No other Hunting Horn and Sunbreak follow these melody rules, and in fact, no other Hunting Horn has the same song list or song order as another Hunting Horn. Every horn is unique. Self-improvement has now been tied to our Perform or Chord ZR attack and is no longer part of our X attack. Horns also now only have three songs available to them, with no correlation between what type of songs the XA or XA notes can be. So without melody lists or note colors, we can really only look at the songs themselves in Sunbreak. However, in addition to self-improvement, there is a new song that is included on every single hunting horn. To explain Infernal Melody, every Hunting Horn now has a gauge that we can fill by attacking the monster, and when it is full, we can activate Infernal Melody by pressing ZR after our Magnificent Trio, Slide Beat, or new Silkbind Shockwave attacks. It increases our attack by 20% but does not stack with Attack Up, instead it overrides any current attack buffs for its 20 second duration. After the 20 seconds, if our attack melody is still active, we will drop back down to that 10% buff. Do note that the attack melody timer still drains during the Infernal Melody, so if the 60 seconds run out during the 20 second Infernal Melody buff, we will lose all attack buffs when Infernal Melody is up. Things to note are that once Infernal Melody is activated, no other Hunting Horn user in the hunt can activate their Infernal Melody attack until after the active one runs out. It also does not reset any gauge progress that Hunters have built up during its activation, but at the same time, Hunters also cannot fill the gauge while an Infernal Melody buff is active. Now. Let's move on to some additional song changes. Capcom made what I think is a great change to how roars work in Rise and Sunbreak. Monsters in this 5th gen entry have a variety of roars that can actually change the levels based on the state the monster is in. A good example of this is Apex Monsters and Elders. When monsters gain auras or enter their Apex state, their roars are generally a greater level roar than their base roar and in some instances there is no level of earplugs that will prevent your hunter from ignoring these roars. If you were to enter Narwa's arena with earplugs level 5, you would still get stunned by the roar, however as noted in the skill description for earplugs, it reduces the effect of the stun of larger roars. With earplugs level 5, the stun lasts 158 frames, and with earplugs level 4, it lasts 218 frames. 
Now we can see that the Earplugs Large song works exactly the same as Earplugs Level 5 because the stun lasts the exact same duration, 158 frames. One thing to note is Sunbreak seems to have changed how the Earplugs song works as it can now stack with the Earplugs skill. In this example, I'm using Earplugs Level 2 with the Earplugs Small song and the stun duration is only 159 frames. The same as if I was playing the Earplug Large song, or if I had Earplugs Level 5. But what about something that could ignore every roar? Sonic Barrier is a fantastic song for solo hunting, and I must put an emphasis on solo hunting. To explain how Sonic Barrier works, it acts similarly to the Rocksteady Mantle from Iceborne, where we can ignore a roar and not be affected by a hit for one instance. But here's the catch. The song duration is only 4 seconds. It has a high skill ceiling and fulfills what I would consider to be a great risk-reward potential that I'm always looking for in hunting horn gameplay. If you play the song too soon, it will wear off and you will get bodied by the monster. Play it too late, and pretty much the same thing. Without knowing the monster, even if you play it at the right time, you could get hit by a multi-hit attack and be instantly killed without being able to react in Wirefall. The song promotes good monster knowledge, and the easiest example of its use in high-level play is demonstrated in Ryze's Arena 4 speedruns, where the opening makes use of the Sonic Barrier to ignore Barriot's roar and land an important opening Earthshaker. As for multiplayer, again, I would not recommend taking the song into multiplayer, especially for hardy hitting monsters for obvious reasons. But what I do recommend for multiplayer are these songs. In Rise, we were introduced to the fantastic Sharpness Loss Reduce song, and in Sunbreak, we now have two new, bigger, badder variants the Sharpness Regeneration song and the Sharpness Extension song. All three of these are great in their own right, with Sharpness Loss Reduction acting as a free Razor Sharp level 3 for 40 seconds, meaning we have a 50% chance to not lose sharpness on each hit, or 1.5 times more sharpness units. Those 20 units of purple sharpness that we've been trying to hold on to on our Tigrex hunting horn are now equivalent to 30 units. For perspective, those 10 extra units in purple are equivalent to a 5% increase in damage over our 10 units in white, and that's without factoring in any other additive or percentage-based buffs. Now that sounds great, but what if there was something better? What if instead of adding 10 units of purple, we could add infinite amounts of purple sharpness? Well, with sharpness regeneration, we basically have that. The song lasts 60 seconds and regenerates roughly 2 units of sharpness every 5 seconds. And I won't dive into sharpness efficiency for our combos because I want to cover that into another video, so let's look at at least 2 core combos for now. Our Crush Chord combo will cost 2 sharpness over around 3 seconds, however with Sharpness Regen active, we'll gain 1.2 sharpness units back in that time, a total of a 60% reduction in sharpness used which outperforms our Sharpness Loss Reduction song. And our Crush Overhead Smash Chord combo which will cost 4 units of sharpness over about 5 seconds, however with Sharpness Regen active we gain 2 sharpness units back in that time, in total a 50% reduction of sharpness used, netting the same efficiency as Sharpness Loss Reduce song but with the added benefit of gaining sharpness when we aren't attacking the monster as well. Now the sharpness extension song is interesting in my eyes. Currently it's only found on two horns and acts as handicraft level 2 but does not bring us past the limit of the horn's sharpness. So if we use handicraft level 5 in our set and then play sharpness extension, it won't give us the equivalent of handicraft level 7. Instead what we can do is only invest 3 points into handicraft and then play the sharpness extension song for the full 50 unit extension that handicraft 5 would normally give us. If you are playing in a party that consists of all melee players, then this is definitely a song to consider bringing. Now I want to tread carefully around the word support in a hunting horn video, I know it's taboo, but besides attack and sharpness songs, there is another way that we can make solo and team play more comfortable. So healing in Sunbreak turns out to be really good for Hunting Horn, and Sunbreak brings us four different instant effect songs, three of them being healing songs, and the fourth being Sonic Waves. I don't want to dive too deep into the silk binds available to us, as I will discuss that in a later video, but I do want to note that because these are instant effect songs, they will synergize with the Beat of Resonance silk bind attack, because they are activated a second time through the cocoon we place down. 
If we were to play attack up, it would be pointless for it to activate again immediately because as previously discussed, there is no encore effects and the duration does not increase by playing the song twice. However, with instant effect songs like these, it can synergize because we can now receive two song effects instead of one. We can now heal for 40 HP instead of 20. We can now deal 10 motion value instead of five. This is incredibly useful for situations where there is a continuous drain on your health pool, like with the new Dereliction and Bloodlust skills. A combination of the two, while great for damage, can be incredibly uncomfortable to play with without some form of healing or passive health regen without having to continually sheath your weapon. Okay, so now for some weird stuff. Another welcome change that Ryze introduced to the Hunting Horn is the distance that a hunter has to be to receive some buffs. Sunbreak does not include the UI notice that Iceborne gave us for if a party member is in range of receiving the buff, so I chose to use a less mathematical way of measuring song buff distances rolling around. And this is what I found. For normal performances with no modifiers, our radius is between 3 to 4 rolls, and this is the same for the distance for Beat of Resonance. If you were to use the Dute Range Rampage Deco, the range increases to somewhere between 9 to 10 rolls, and this is the same for the maximum volume ramp up. An unexpected find, an almost unimportant <laughs> discovery, was that regardless of the Dute Range Up Deco, the radius for buffing pets is between 11 and 12 rolls, meaning that you could buff a pet and not a hunter even if the hunter is closer to you. Again, that would be a really weird situation, and I don't really think that this matters too much but I just wanted to bring that up. Anyways, I really like that, barring the exception of the Dute Range Up Deco, these changes help encourage us Hunting Horn players to be within a close distance to other hunters, encouraging us to be active within the fight. No more corner horning from across the map, hopefully. <laughs> Hi everyone. So if you'd like to learn more about Hunting Horn, or if you just wanna get better at Monster Hunter, or even just wanna hang out and chat with some really cool people, I would recommend joining Amadeus225 server at the Horn Pub. I've included a link in the description, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Hunting Horn related content and speedruns, and thank you for watching.